On March 6, the Indian embassy in Moscow reported that 30-year-old Mohammed Asfan was killed several months after being deceived into participating in that country's conflict against Ukraine. The Ministry of External Affairs stated that around 20 Indian nationals are employed as support personnel for the Russian military. The embassy posted on social media platform X mentioning that they are communicating with Mohammed Asfan's family to arrange for his body to be brought back to India. However, the embassy did not provide any additional information about what caused Asfan's death. So who was Mohammed Asfan and how did he land up in Russia? Now let's take a look. In November last year, Asfan, who lived in Hyderabad, left for Russia along with two other young individuals from Uttar Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir after being offered positions as assistants in Russian government institutions by agents. The last contact Asfan had with his family was on December 31st. On March 6, the Indian embassy in Moscow verified his death. Mohammed Imran, Asfan's brother, called for the arrest of the agents responsible for deceiving Asfan. Imran alleged that agents from Mumbai and Dubai, including one running a vlog called Baba Vlogs, deceived Asfan and two others by taking 3 lakh rupees from each, promising them jobs in Russia. Upon arrival in that country, they were coerced into signing documents in Russian and they realized only later that they had been recruited as helpers for the Russian army. Asfan contacted the agents expressing concern about weapons training but was reassured it was part of the job. Eventually, they were taken to the Russia-Ukraine border. AIMIM chief Asaduddin Owaisi contacted the Indian embassy in Moscow after repeated appeals from Aswan's family. Even though the embassy has confirmed his death, there have been conflicting reports from agents claiming Aswan's survival. Imran suspects they deliberately misled the family and has demanded justice. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.